All right, what's up everybody? So what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna show you the best way to do a dumbbell row or a slight variation, I should say, in the dumbbell row. Now it's one of my favorite back exercises. It works all the major muscles of the back. I consider it a staple movement. It's great for building muscle, strength, improving posture. Again, one of the best back muscle exercises you could possibly do. So here's what I like to do. Now you'll see a lot of people doing this with a flat bench, right? So They'll have the bench be flat, and you'll see people here in this position doing their row. And there's nothing wrong with that. That's totally fine. But here's a slight variation. I like to take people and put them on a slight incline. This brings the body up just a bit higher. Now, you'll notice some bodybuilders, when they do rows, rather than being totally flat to the floor, their bodies are up here at about 45 degrees. I feel that more in my lats when I do that, and I feel like I can handle a little bit more weight. So I consider this to be a little bit more of a muscle builder, if you will, and it's just a good variation. They're both good. If you did it the other way before, try this version. So I'm gonna take an incline bench, which is gonna place my, my body not flat to the floor, but up here at about 45 degrees. You wanna grab your dumbbell, and you wanna step out to the side to give you a solid base. I like to grab the bench with my hand for a nice, solid position. And you'll notice that I'm sticking my chest out and I'm putting my hips at a slight what's called anterior pelvic tilt. So I'm kind of arching my back a little bit and sticking my chest out. Now when I row the dumbbell, I want to pull up with my shoulder to activate those rhomboids. And then I want to pull my elbow up and squeeze the lats. Notice how the dumbbell isn't just coming straight up, but rather coming back a little bit as I row the weight. As you row the weight, you want to squeeze the lats, slight rotation in the upper body, and then come all the way down for full extension. Now here's the tempo that I, I like to do when I do this exercise. So I'm gonna actually do it like I'm doing the exercise, right? So this is the speed that I like to do. You'll notice it's like two seconds up, two seconds down. Now you can slow that down or speed it up if you want. But again, great exercise for the lats and the upper back. Try it on the incline bench. Okay, so here's a couple mistakes that you tend to see with this particular exercise, okay? So people will get in the position to do their dumbbell row. And then what they'll do is they'll row the weight, but their shoulder will stay forward. So notice how my shoulder's down. Now I'm exaggerating it, right? But when your shoulder's forward and you row, what you're not doing is engaging those upper back muscles. And you're actually promoting bad posture. If I row like this constantly, I'm gonna encourage kind of this forward shoulder position, which is gonna make, give me worse posture and I'm not gonna be able to develop my back uh, completely. Here's another issue that I tend to see with this dumbbell row. I tend to see excessive rotation at the top. So it's here. Now, for functional and athletic purposes, sometimes there's value in this, but for developing the muscles of the back, you wanna limit the rotation. There's a little bit of rotation, but mainly what we're looking for is your shoulder blade to come across the body. What you don't wanna do is see a lot of this kind of lawnmower starting position where you're rotating a lot, it's not gonna give you as great of a connection to the muscles of the back. Also, look at my hand position here. Can I supinate the weight and can I pronate the weight? You can, but it really doesn't make that big of a difference, at least not with a dumbbell. I like to keep it neutral, keeps the weight away from hitting my body, especially if you're using a lot of weight and the dumbbell gets really big. So neutral position is best. Lastly, notice my grip. I like to grab towards the front of the dumbbell versus the middle or the back. I've noticed it's easier to hold on to heavy weight when you do this. So again, you'll notice my hand is towards the front of the dumbbell. And one more time, this is kind of the tempo that you wanna do with this particular exercise. Subscribe to this channel and turn on your notifications and share this with your friends. I'll see you next time.